Today is the National Day of Truth and Reconciliation. It's a day to remember the 215 graves that were found in Kamloops, BC, the former residential school. But it's also to remember all the children that have died and have unmarked graves across this country. I would like to share with you my experience with residential school. My mom is from Buffalo Narrows, Northern Saskatchewan. We are of Métis descent. Her and her sister, at nine years old, were put on a barge to cross the lake to a residential school site. Mom, for the first time in her life, started feeling fear, rejection, hurt, anger. She felt like her mom didn't love her. She carried that on into her adult years. She became a bully as a child to protect herself because she didn't trust anyone. And as an adult, she never really felt like she belonged in this world. And unfortunately, those feelings and that hurt and that pain transferred onto to us as her daughters and her son. I grew up believing that I wasn't valued as a person, that I was stupid and I would go nowhere in life. I felt damaged deep within my soul and there was no way I could heal because of the shame, guilt and fear of not being a good person. So the National Day of Truth and Reconciliation, what it means to me, it's a day of reflection to honor people like my mom, acknowledge the past and hear people's truths. Once we can comprehend, accept and understand the reality of residential schools and the atrocities, the future for healing will occur. Today is a reflection for those who have experienced trauma, to feel our own pain and to heal, to reconnect with our own inner child, to help them feel loved. It is particularly important for us as healthcare providers because we are seen in high regard. Your words and actions are impactful on our patients and families. When we can learn, acknowledge and understand, we learn the truth and acknowledge the past, but we can also look to the future and ask, how can I help make healthcare a better world for First Nations, Métis and Inuit families to feel safe?